here's uh, a number of our competitors. We cut apart their product to see exactly how it's made. We uh, received one sample from one of our customers that they tried to get a warranty replacement done by this one company, Pepin Dumbbells, and this thing just sheared off. There was no weld there to hold it together, no material. So we took the other handle that we got from the guy, cut it apart, so you can see number one, the wall thickness. It's like a sixteenth of an inch maybe. It's just got a tiny little, what they call an autogenous weld holding this handle onto the end, which means it's a weld without filler material. Most, most weld has filler material. But I guess that's number one problem. Number two, if you try to buy this thread at a fastener store, you can't because this is a thread from a, basically a rebar. So this is made for holding rebar together before you put concrete on it. So you can see when you put this in here, the only thing that's touching is a bare, a tiny bit of thread. So there's no friction holding this thread together when it's actually threaded. We use a, uh, if you take a look at one of our end posts, we use a 1-5 Acme thread. So this thread is made on, made for use on like Caterpillar equipment, CNC machines, lathes. This thread is made to hold steady and fast when it's in a, in a stationary position, but it will spin and spin up pretty quickly when you put your dumbbell together. Super strong. One turn of this, you've got more surface area, basically, than what's holding these together. And that's why these will always spin free. They won't ever hold tight. Whereas this, once you tighten one of our threads, it's always tight. Yeah. Yeah, they always come loose, no matter what. And that's because, that's because it's not a real thread. You know, like you look at any bolt, it's got a flat surface and that's a flat surface against flat surface. Is this yours or theirs? That's theirs. That's theirs. So that's why that has that plastic flange, just because it's not holding. They're trying to hold it with, but this is like a hard plastic, so right. it doesn't work that well. Then we cut to get apart an Iron Master, which they are always known as the strongest in the industry. The way that Iron Master works is they slide in this keyway and then you turn it. But if you look at their thread, it's a 1-8 UNC thread. It's itty bitty. There's hardly any metal there. And when this is loaded up to the heaviest, like when they're, when you take their smaller end posts, you load it up to 75 pounds, you've got that much oh, holding it. Yep. And this never stays tight. It always comes loose. Their end posts, they're uh, welded somehow, maybe uh, brazed in there, stuck into a hole. Peppins, welded in place, but you see that that's all that's holding it together is the weld. And this, when you look at the spec of this type of rod, it sells is not made for welding. So you actually are supposed to heat it up to like 400 degrees and then weld it while it's super hot and then let it cool off. Our end posts, so this is what our end posts look like. Our rod is, we thread our end posts, then we thread the rod in, then we weld it. So even if you're able to break the weld, it's still not gonna come apart. So, and we've had strong men throw our 200 pound dumbbells, hit concrete and they'll barely bend this which we replace under warranty. We're the only people with a real warranty. You read this warranty, doesn't cover general use. You read this warranty, and all it mentions is their plates. So our handles, our thread is cut into three quarter inch thick plate steel. And then our handle thickness, these are one and a half, so it's one quarter inch thick wall. Our one and 3.75s is three sixteenths inch wall and our one and a quarter is an eighth of an inch wall. So when you compare this even to what has been known as the strongest in the industry, ours is thicker than Iron Master. And you compare it to my friends at Pepin, even our thinnest is like <laughs> four or five times the thickness of theirs. So that's what you get. You get super strength when you buy Badass. And now we've got our new version five handles, which we've come out with. And these we've made like this so that they can, we can see how they're made, but it's like all CNC fabbed. It's all extremely high end, thick wall, a neural that anybody would die for. You grab that. Oh, that's grippy. That's, that's really like nice. Spider-Man grip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's not a volcano neural. Really? It's, it's just a real neural. Volcano neural, actually, when you take it to a CNC shop, they say that's actually a neural that hasn't been completed. Huh. It's basically a diamond neural that hasn't been brought to a peak. So that's badass for you. Um, wow. Ours are the strongest. Our warranty covers. If you take these and you're able to bend them, we replace them. You break them, you can't. Like all you can do is bend them. If you really 
throw them. We've had YouTubers like uh, Garage Gym Fanatics, I think. Yep. Threw our stuff into the street 14 feet in the air. Yeah, this is an EVA foam because we find that when you tighten it, what it does is the air gets sort of sucked out of it a bit. Yep. So it creates a vacuum, keeps them from... So we could use, uh, you know, UMHA or whatever the material everybody's hot for in the fitness industry, but that's hard plastic. It won't stick. And what we want is product that won't come apart while you're using it. Last thing you want to do when you got 90 pounds or 120 pounds over your face is have your dumbbells fall apart. Magnajust end posts. So we've got an end post that goes on our dumbbell that has four 11 pound pull magnets. Huh. So if you want to have your dumbbell put together and then you want to add weight. Oh, no kidding. These huh. these will hold our 12 and a half pound plates. Yeah, gum. That's not a joke. Yeah, but then if you want to take it off, yeah, yeah. it comes off. You're doing a set of uh, side laterals and you right. want to take it off quick, just bang it against your leg, keep going. You haven't even unloaded your muscle. So it's the quickest drop set you'll ever do. Yeah. A lot of people think, okay, I got an adjustable set of dumbbells. These ones are quick, like the Snowed or even Pep and Fast or all these ones. But in between sets, people forget, okay, now I got to carry this heavy dumbbell all the way back to the cradle. I got to get it at the right angle to slip it in. Then I gotta change my weights. Then I gotta pull it back out of the cradle. Then I gotta go back to where I'm working out. That's not fast. That's slow. This is fast. You wanna add 10 pounds? That's fast. <laughs> and we sell our dumbbells. We start off with 50 pound. Expands right up to our 225. Our 72 pound expands right up to 225. All of them is, they're all backward compatible, forward compatible. 